Hi, I'm Gianfranco Wanki. I am from Lima, Peru. I am 22 years old and I've been cubing for six years now and blind specifically five years and a half. My main event is tree blind and currently my main cube is the WRM Armstrong. My favorite cube in memory is being on the TV show The Brain China where I got the opportunity to use the cube as a tool to show millions of millions of people in all the Asian continent uh, the benefits and that solving a Rubik's Cube, especially blindfolded, can be really cool and like spectator friendly. My biggest cubing accomplishment definitely is the day that I broke the world record single in blindfolded twice. I did an 18.4 and then on the next round I won that event with 18.31. That was pretty cool for me. Same day? Yeah, the same day. Like my Cuban relationship with my brother is really nice because even though we practice different events, that's obvious, we push together to keep improving every time. Like if I feel lazy or I don't want to practice but I see that he's practicing a lot, then that's like contagious to me and vice versa. And at the beginning, we did start doing 3 so it was really nice and fun to have someone to practice with until we finally got our favorite events as blind and as unnamings. My first experience in a competition was in 2013 in October. I, I was doing blind like two, three months um, since that moment. So my performance was really, really bad. <laughs> I must admit, I screwed multi-blind. I did zero out of two cubes, one out of two. And then in three blind, I my cube popped twice. So I doubled the NF and the last solve, I got a success of four minutes, 30 something. And with that success, I managed to get the last place. <laughs> Still, because I was pretty slow. But in that competition, I get to I I met the top blinders of my country, and that was really inspiring to me. I asked them a bunch of questions, and then on Facebook, a whole other bunch of questions because I really wanted to improve. So, so it was a, like a learning experience to me. So about three style, it like it's supposed to be the best method of blind, but. I don't like that people compare Tristal with commutators as as BH because that was move oriented um, and Tristal should be speed oriented. So for me, changing was the transition that that put a difference. Like Gianfranco before Tristal only was a person that likes blind, but after Tristal, after I decided to learn it, Gianfranco was like like. Mm, like had a, a most ambitious goal. I already wanted to break a world record at that point. Uh, I changed when I was almost sub, mm, sub six minutes. Yeah, so when I started doing five minutes, I already started to learn commutators at that moment. And I did it because I did, I was watching tutorials like no Arthur's tutorial. You should change to three style when you are in minute and a half or when you are sub one. And I didn't want to wait too much. And I was like, if I know eventually I'm gonna change, why wait so long? Like I don't care how hard it's gonna be, I'm gonna learn it anyway. So I decided to learn it from a bunch of tutorials, and it was really really hard the process. Um, but I'm glad because thanks to knowing the theory. I could develop so many alks and tricks by myself. I don't. I stopped needing the help of others, and that was really like helpful for me. So team cubicle. At first, for me, team cubicle was like a dream. It was like, wow, I'm in this competition. I mean, not not even. I wasn't even at the competition. I was watching on the live stream, and those people were wearing white jackets and that looked really nice and they were doing a lot of records so for me that was at first like a goal uh, I want to be there I knew that I couldn't uh, go there if I was just a beginner so for me that was like I'm not gonna think about it for now I start to improve I like my events I start to break records and when I won uh, three, three blind in Nats 2016 
I decided that I was ready to at least give it a shot. So I asked everybody like, hey, hey, do you know who's the owner of the cubicle? Yeah, it's a guy called Phil. Okay, who, what is there? He's right there. Ah, uh, oh, the podium. Oh, so he, was, uh, he gave me the diploma. Okay. Uh, I went to there and I was like, hey, can I be sponsored by the cubicle? So for me, that was the first connection. Um, he obviously had to think about it. And at the end, he decided to sponsor me and my brother. We both asked. And it was pretty cool. I think maybe we were the first South American people. I'm not sure, but by being, to being sponsored by Cubicle. Yeah, we were. Uh, so first, it was like a, like a prize. It was like something that I've earned with my effort. I, okay, but then what's next? I discovered that it was more like a prize. It was something that I was carry. I was going to carry on with in all my Cuban career. It's, it gave me the opportunity to meet a lot of new friends just by the, by the by the fact that they were also wearing the jacket. For me, uh, it was easier to talk with them or them to talk to me to ask for advices to have a, like a nice conversation and make new friends. Uh, also. And whenever, and that's, this is something that always happens. I need like a loop or a screwdriver and I, and I ask a white jacket person and they always have it. <laughs> so it's really fun to know that I can, like, like they have my back. And also I do whenever I, I can help to, to the rest. Uh, there is also the famous part of it. So the kids saw, see the white jacket and they ask for autographs. That's pretty funny. Sometimes they don't even know who I am. They just know me for the white jacket. <laughs> and I'm like, do you know who I am? And they're trying to read my name on the back. That's funny. So it, it brings me a lot of experience. Um, also, Team Cubicle to me means a way to 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 keep improving, to to having like always the new hardware and software in software well like the Alex that's oh, that's on me but the new hardware yeah always that I need a, cube, a new cube they they have no problems in sending to me as quickly as possible uh, like I'm also sponsored by Moyu most of if not all of the things that I ask are more related but still it's pretty nice that they have like these laps of development of loops and I get to try these new loops sometimes before the rest of the people and for me that's a, a nice benefit that I appreciate a lot because what I want to do is keep improving keep breaking records and the team cubicle is like the best support that I could have in this moment so I'm really glad that I'm part of the Team Cubicle and that I can contrib contribute to them as they contribute to me.